I could literally live off of pasta and pizza. I wouldn't need anything else. I start, I think I started crying after that, yeah. I've definitely had a few customers make me cry, for sure. If I didn't have a fast metabolism, I would literally be about 40 stone. There was a few different reasons why I decided to leave Charlotte Tilbury. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and hello if you are new here, welcome. Please make sure you subscribe before you leave. First of all, I just wanna quickly mention if you hear any suspicious noises, that would be my dog. I have her on the bed again. I believe I said this in my last video, but today I've got dog number one. She's a little bit poorly. She's got a little cone on at the moment. She's my little cone head. So yeah, if you hear any noises, then I'm really sorry about that, but she doesn't like to be left alone at the moment. So yeah. So as you can tell from the title of the video, today I wanted to do something a little bit different, something a little bit more chilled for my channel. I haven't done one of these in a really long time. I basically wanted to film a kind of get ready with me Q&A video so I asked you guys on my Instagram stories the other day to send me in some questions and then I'm just going to kind of do like I said a really chilled kind of makeup look whilst answering your questions. I'm just going to be using the stuff that I've been kind of traveling with the past two days. I went to stay at my boyfriend's house so everything that I took is in this bag and I'm just literally going to be using that. So these are kind of like almost as well like some of my current favorite products because yeah I took them sort of like away with me so I'm not really going to be talking Talking through the products I don't think I'm going to list them all down below in the description box if you was interested in any of the products that I was using but yeah without further ado let's just get on into the video okay so the first question is do you do freelance makeup work the truthful answer to this question is not really I kind of used to do a little bit more I would offer kind of like weddings and things like that I have definitely done weddings in the past and yeah I've also kind of just done like normal freelance work in London as well but I do actually work in retail out in a kind of makeup job in retail and obviously I'm trying to do the whole YouTube and Instagram thing on the side as well so I don't really leave myself a lot of time to do other things especially freelance work because you kind of have to obviously be quite flexible and fit that around the person and not really fit it around your own schedule so I kind of here and there will take freelance work if I feel like it fits in with my schedule but I don't really offer for it just because I feel like I don't really have a lot of spare time to do it. Someone also said, what is your earliest memory? My earliest memory is actually having my nappy changed. I know that's so weird because I feel like when I've said that to people in the past, they're like, you definitely don't remember that. There's no way you can remember that. But I can actually remember having my nappy changed. So yeah, I think that's got to be one of my earliest memories. And it's so mad that I can actually remember that because it's literally when I was like a proper, proper baby. Okay, someone said, I have small blue eyes. How can I make them look bigger? On blue eyes, a really, really beautiful colour is gold. Gold and oranges and kind of like red tone eyeshadows make blue eyes pop. So that's that is definitely the first thing that I would recommend that you could do. Just use a kind of colour that's actually going to make your eyes stand out because that will automatically make them look bigger. Another trick as well is to also do like a little winged liner. So that will kind of give the illusion that your eyes are a little bit more feline shaped, which can also make them look bigger as well and more kind of open. And then I'd probably say my last trick would be to put like a white or nude coloured eyeliner in the bottom waterline of your eye, which I sometimes do because that can give the illusion that your eyes are bigger as well. Okay, so someone said scrunch or fold toilet paper. I'm definitely a folder. Okay, so someone said what are your favourite perfumes? I'm actually really not a perfume person. Like, I'm not one of these people that has about a million perfumes. I don't really get excited by perfumes that much, to be honest, because I just find that they're really overpriced and I kind of can't be asked to pay like £100 for a bottle of 50ml perfume. But I would definitely say my top perfume at the moment is actually from a brand called Clean. I'll put a picture of it on the screen now and it's in the scent warm cotton I believe and it literally smells like fresh beautiful washed laundry you know like when you first get your clothes out of the laundry and they just smell so beautiful and fresh but that smells like 10 times better so I love just spraying that kind of like all over my clothes so that I literally smell like I've literally just walked out of the washing machine if you know what I mean I like to smell really kind of fresh and clean and that scent is literally my favorite scent of all time I actually got it for Christmas and I still have quite a lot left you can get it from Space NK I also really like the DNG number three as well it's like the light pink one it has got a name but I really can't pronounce it I'll put it on the screen that one as well is a little bit more sweet and kind of sickly I guess but I do really like that perfume it's a little bit 
of a lighter one so it's really good for every day that is probably my top favorite perfume after the clean one okay so someone said how did you have the courage to start a youtube channel to be honest with you i started my youtube channel probably about two and a half years ago now three years it's probably coming up to about three years i actually didn't really have the courage to start it at all like i know that sounds really stupid because obviously i did start it but i just kind of started it i didn't really tell anyone that i was starting it like i didn't post it on my instagram or anything like that i just kind of started it because i'd wanted to do it for the longest time and i just thought you know what like i don't know what i'm waiting for like i really want to do it so i just literally made a video i think i actually deleted the first video that i ever filmed because it was literally the most rubbish thing i had ever seen so i refilmed it and then i literally just edited it posted it didn't really tell like i said i didn't tell anyone other than like my really close people and i think when i hit around a thousand subscribers subscribers I definitely started to gain a little bit more confidence in myself and kind of realized that oh people are actually subscribing now people are actually watching my videos so then I started posting it on like my social media that I was actually starting a YouTube channel and then it kind of just went from there really like I just kind of didn't even really think about it I just kind of did it because I find with me personally if I overthink about something too much I'll talk myself out of it so if I don't think about it and just do it because I know that that's what I want to do then it usually works out better for me like that so I just kind of did it like I just didn't really think about it um it is a scary thing like putting yourself online and talking and stuff because people are always gonna like judge you and have their opinion on it but to be honest with you I don't really give so that is why I continue to do what I want because I don't really care what people think about me okay so someone said do you have favorites and if so what and why I'm assuming you're talking about like Oh my god, the biggest moth just flew into my window. That was literally like a bird. Um, anyways, I'm assuming you're talking about like beauty products or makeup products. I actually have a ton of favourites at the moment. I literally just posted a favourites video on my YouTube. I think it was the last video that I posted. Was it? I think it might have been. Yeah, anyways, I'll link it in the description box below. So all of my favourites I talk about in there. I do have a ton of favourites at the moment. I found some really good products in the last few months. Someone said, what is your skin type? I am super lucky with my skin. My skin is very, very normal. It's kind of like normal to dehydrated dry. So in the winter, I do get really dehydrated and dry and kind of crusty a little bit around my nose. But as long as I kind of cream up and use the correct products, my skin really isn't that much of a kind of problem which I'm super lucky about like I've never really had any major issues with my skin touch wood I do sometimes as well get a little bit of oiliness in my t-zone but again nothing crazy so yeah I'm really super lucky to have very kind of normal skin so someone asked what my favorite singer is my favorite singer is definitely Billie Eilish I think her voice is literally one of the most beautiful voices I think I've ever heard in my whole life like whenever I hear her singing instantly I know it's her because she's just out of this world like there is I don't think there's anyone on this planet that can sing as good as Billie Eilish to be honest her voice is literally it sounds like angels singing like she is literally so talented obviously I really love like Ariana Grande kind of all the big ones and like Drake I think Drake's voice is absolutely amazing as well but Billie Eilish just is just the most amazing singer I've ever heard in my whole life I just genuinely don't even know how she's real Okay, so someone said brushes or a beauty sponge. I'm actually really into both. I really love the fuzzy sponges at the moment. This one is Juno & Co. I really, really love this sponge for applying like foundation and concealer. But I do obviously also really love brushes as well for everything else. And I do really love a foundation brush sometimes as well. Someone said, what's your favorite food or foods to eat? I absolutely love Italian food. Like, I could literally live off of pasta and pizza. I wouldn't need anything else. Obviously for breakfast I would, but I just love Italian food so, so much. It's definitely my kind of favorite cuisine. I also really love like Mexican food, Chinese food. I honestly am really not a fussy eater. I will literally eat anything and pretty much I enjoy everything as well. I'm like the least fussy eater on the planet. Like I literally will eat anything. But yeah, Italian and Mexican are probably my favorite food and like my number one favorite meal would be like a really nice kind of creamy mushroom pasta oh just mushrooms are to die for i literally could live off of just mushroom pasta alone okay so someone said are you in a relationship yes i am i just got back from my boyfriend so yeah i am in a relationship okay, i just want to do a wing but i feel like i'm not gonna be able to talk while i do it so i'm just gonna jump off camera do a quick wing and then i'm gonna come back okay so a couple of people asked a similar question which was basically like when did i know i wanted to do makeup and how did i get interested in makeup and all that kind of stuff basically i was really young when i first had a kind of interest in makeup i was probably about 
14 or 15 when I kind of started watching YouTube videos when I started learning a little bit more about makeup and makeup artistry and all of that kind of stuff and once I kind of got into the world of watching tutorials and makeup videos and just things like that in general I really found a love for makeup and I realized that just even applying a little bit of makeup can just make you feel so much more confident and so much more beautiful and just kind of like an enhanced version of yourself and that's kind of when I fell in love with it when I was really young and then ever since I was like 16 I kind of no, I was younger than that yeah so I was probably about 15 16 when I was like yeah I definitely want to do this in college so I actually went to college when I was 16 to study beauty and makeup and yeah I've not regretted my decision in any way shape or form to be honest because I love makeup so much I always have done ever since like I said I was really really young I was probably even younger than 14 to be honest I was probably about 13 and when I started watching YouTube so yeah YouTube is kind of where I found my love for makeup because that's where I kind of learned like most of my kind of stuff really to be honest just watching makeup videos has taught me so much in the past so I guess that's why I kind of all along wanted to create my own YouTube channel because that's kind of where I first discovered my love for makeup. Okay, so someone said, what is your worst experience as a saleswoman? This is actually such a good question because I, if you didn't already know, I've worked in retail ever since I was 18. And then two years before that, I also worked in a salon. So I've got quite a lot of experience with working in, like, you know, with the public and things like that. So I have had my fair share of bad experiences dealing with the public because to be quite honest with you, customers and clients, whatever you want to call them, they can be I think the worst experience that I've ever had though is when a customer actually came in for an appointment. I used to work for Clarins as a kind of massage and facials therapist. She came in for her appointment and she was extremely late so I had to tell her that unfortunately I could no longer carry out her treatment because she was way too late and I had another appointment coming in after her. So I had to explain to her that unfortunately she had missed the appointment time and that she's going to have to rebook or come back another day or whatever and she just flipped out on me she started like screaming and just really going off on one she was just not happy at all and it's just so funny because it's literally your fault like you're late for your appointment so like what do you want me to do she literally just went off on one got the manager involved I start I think I started crying after that yeah I've definitely had a few customers make me cry for sure someone said if you could live in another country where would it be and why to be honest I don't think I would ever really want to live in another country for a long period of time like I would happily go and live somewhere else for like six months to a year just to experience like a new culture and a new place but I definitely don't think I would want to like permanently move to another country like I definitely want to bring up my kids in the UK around my family but if I had to go and live somewhere else it would probably be somewhere in a America because I feel like it's quite similar to the UK but like different enough that it's like worth actually like going to live there for a bit so like somewhere like maybe like LA or somewhere cool like that or maybe even somewhere like Australia purely because anyone who's like ever gone to Australia said it's like the most amazing place in the world and they want to go and live there forever so yeah maybe like Australia or somewhere like LA so someone said if you could be any type of pasta what would it be definitely spaghetti because spaghetti is my favorite pasta and I would have mushrooms on me because I love mushrooms so much someone said how do you edit your videos I feel like I can't talk while I'm doing this oh my god did anyone see that tiktok of where that girl rips out her eyelashes with the eyelash curlers I was mortified for her I couldn't believe it that is literally like my worst fear ripping out my eyelashes with the eyelash curler okay now I've forgotten the question okay so someone said how do you edit your videos I actually edit completely on iMovie which in case you didn't know comes free when you buy a apple macbook so it's not the best editing thing in the world I know a lot of people that do like YouTube and Instagram use Final Cut Pro which is about three or four hundred pounds to buy but to be honest with you I know iMovie now like the back of my hand like I can use iMovie really easily and quickly and I can't really be bothered to a pay a lot more money for an editing software that I don't really need and b I don't want to teach myself again how to use like another editing software when I'm perfectly happy with iMovie. iMovie is very basic but it kind of does like everything that I would need because I'm not really like into this like extra editing anyway like my videos are very kind of like simply edited so iMovie just literally works perfect for me. Okay so someone said what's your next favorite thing to do other than makeup? Definitely eat. 
I'm the biggest foodie. I love food so much. I eat when I'm bored. I eat for the sake of it. I eat much more than I probably should. But luckily I have a fast metabolism. So I am quite skinny. Thank the Lord. Because if I didn't have a fast metabolism, I would literally be about 40 stone because I do not stop eating. I love to eat so, so much. But obviously other than that, yeah, I don't know. I don't really have any other hobbies really other than like YouTube and Instagram. That pretty much takes up most of my time when I'm not working. And then yeah, I just like to spend time with my family family, my dogs, my boyfriend, my friends. Yeah, that's it really. I'm not that interesting. Okay, so someone said, what would you choose from? Either being bald or having facial hair? Um, you know what? I think I'd actually choose being bald. Or would I? Yeah, I think I'll choose being bald because you can get some really good wigs these days. So then I could just easily slip a wig on and I wouldn't even have to do my hair. That would actually be pretty good. So someone said, are you a dog or a cat person? 100% a dog person. I do like cats, but I'm definitely more of a dog person. Can you make an affordable makeup tutorial? And by which software do you edit your videos? Okay, so I've already got a full-on drugstore makeup tutorial that I posted a few videos ago on my channel already. I'll link it down below. And then, yeah, like I said earlier, I can't talk and do this. I don't know why I'm even trying. And yeah, like I already said, I edit with iMovie. Okay, so someone said, why did you leave Charlotte Tilbury and what would be your dream job? Um, <sighs> there was a few different reasons why I decided to leave Charlotte Tilbury. It was mainly because of like personal reasons that I don't really want to talk about on camera. Yeah, it was definitely my time to move on and I'm so happy that I did because I'm definitely a lot happier now in the place that I'm at. My dream job would definitely be to be doing like YouTube, social media full time. That is literally the goal, like that is the end goal what I'm trying to do because I just love creating content so much. I love makeup so much but I also like freedom in makeup so I like doing my own makeup, not being told that like this is what you have to do. I love just doing what I want talking to you guys having fun with it like this would literally be my dream job so yeah okay so that is pretty much like the majority of the questions that I had answered the other ones were kind of like similar to the questions I've already answered so I'm going to leave the video here I really hope you guys enjoyed it and thank you to anyone who asked me a question I really had fun filming this video so let me know if you like this video and then I can definitely film some more in the future do make sure you subscribe if you haven't already that would be absolutely amazing and I'll see you guys in my next video bye